Hello, Maju, and today we're going to be doing something different. So, not really different, but we're going to be playing a visual novel. So, now this one is truly unique. So, let me explain. So, I was told about this game uh, on one of my comments some time ago. So, I was like, I'll try it out when I can, just because at the time I was doing I'm a Pony, and I think I'm still working on Sengoku Kinsokyo. And uh, what was the other game again? Sengoku Senko and like, you know, uh, Aya Attorney series, right? So uh, now that I'm done with Amapani, uh, I'm gonna work on this one. And uh, if you guys been noticing the sounds of it, yeah! <laughs> this is gonna be a fun ride, all right? Anyway, so as you can tell about the game, in Miko We Trust. Huh. Well, I, I want to say this right now. I've listened to, to the American theme more than I really want to, to be honest. To be fair, I've never really listened to it much until now. Just because, you know, I'm from Canada. And while I could easily listen to it, if I listen, watch some, I guess, sports, I don't really do that. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm used to old Canada, not whatever the American anthem is called. So, yeah. Anyway, so let's do this, shall we? And Miko we trust. So as you can tell right now, you have good old Miko. And uh, if it, as you could tell, it's, I think that's the White House. So I, I, all I know is that Miko, from what I understand, Miko is the president of the United States of America. I'm kind of jealous right now. <laughs> if our prime minister was Miko, yo, I'd be down for that. Oh, uh, that's all I got so far when it comes to the game. So we'll, we'll see how it plays out, right? <laughs> And I also want to thank the person who recommended this to me, because this is going to be a fun ride. I don't know how long it's going to be. This is can, this, I heard it was a little short, so we'll see how this plays out. Enter your first name. Magi. Last name. There we go. When I was in school, my teacher asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. That's a very... I Man, I had a lot of crazy shit I wanted to be when I grew up. I don't know. I don't remember what I said. It was probably something general, like I want to be a fireman, or I'm gonna be. Wow, surprisingly, I actually, I actually wrote that too when back in grade school. So, <laughs> shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I, I feel that. I feel that, man. I feel that. Something ridiculous like that. By the time I turned 16, I'd given up on dreams like that. I'd given that up at the next grade, man. I was just like your average high schooler, destined to stack shelves, serve fries to nagging customers. Or at least that's what I thought. Instead, where I managed to end up... ...is the White House. Mr. Vice President, what's your opinion on the latest bill? Sir, we need to prepare for the Premier's uh, visits next week. Which hotel should we book? Give me a second, I'm going to adjust the volume. Yeah, it's a little... Oh, wow. kind of forgot to adjust that back in the option settings. Vice President, where's the tax cut, cut you promised us two years ago? Three men in suits are swarming around my desk, yelling over each other to talk to me. These aren't just old men with dress sense. They're deputy secretaries, second only to the hand, head of state themselves. And all of them are expecting answers from me. <laughs> my name is, you know, that long ass name. I am the Vice President of the United States. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, gentlemen, I'm sure there's someone else who can handle your questions. We're not looking for someone else. We want you, you lazy little shrimp. Don't think we haven't noticed. You spend all your days sitting around without lifting a finger to help. To be fair, he's right. I haven't offered much of a meaningful contribution to the runnings at the White House. But really, what am I supposed to do? I don't have any experience in politics. I barely know how to make coffee for crying out loud. Could you maybe talk to the president about this? I don't really have any power to. Quit hiding behind the president. This is you we're talking about. I sink a little further into my seat. What am I supposed to do? These guys are scary. Nothing I say is going to calm them down. Is there a problem, gentlemen? Ah, oh, it's... All the bickering suddenly falls silent as every man turns his attention to the newcomer. She's nothing like the secretaries. She looks young, but the twinkle of wisdom in her eyes speaks of decades of experience. She dresses bizarrely for her for here the highest echelon of american politics but no one says a word after all president toyo sato mimi she's the one that everyone here answers to <laughs> six months ago the first stories about her began to surface 
A mysterious woman arrived on the West Coast, winning over the masses with her incredible charisma. When the internet caught wind of her, her popularity only grew. Within the week, she was a household name, attracted thousands with her smooth and clever rhetoric. No one was surprised when she ran for the presidency. Technically, since she wasn't a legal candidate, technically she wasn't a legal candidate, but her fan base was so large that the rules got waived. A waiver, waived? So she could enter. Naturally, she won by Atlanta, and her popularity has only grown ever since. There are even rumors that some sort of saint revived to bring about a new era of American greatness. Her name is Miko Toyosato Mimi, and she's the reason I'm sitting in this chair right now. Have these men been giving you trouble? I uh, um, wouldn't wear it like that. Miss President, your subordinate is a disgrace to our government and everything it stands for. I concur. He makes hundreds of thousands of hundreds of thousands for doing absolutely nothing while we run around working our asses off. I want to impeach. No, deported. Really? Is that how you think of him? Miko swings, o swings over to me and places a hand on my shoulder. She's a good head taller than me and it makes me feel like I'm back in high school again. Mr. Frostle is a testament to everything this, na this nation stands for. He is the every man we've sworn ourselves to serve, the average American who represents our country as a whole. If you demand my running mate, sirs, you demand you demean America itself. Demean, oh boy. The secretaries go quiet. There's a pressure around the president that makes it difficult for anyone to breathe. I um I'm sorry, ma'am. I never thought of it like that. I assume this much. Now don't tell don't all you have someone else to be? Yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. The three men scurry out of the room, adjusting their collars and ties on the way out. This isn't something any of them are likely to talk about on their coffee break. The ominous aura around Miku dissolves soon after, as if she was being possessed by the men she was trying to lecture. Once she's calmed down completely, she turns her attention back to me. Are you alright? Yeah, thanks to you. Seriously, I owe you one. I think nothing of it. After all, it would reflect poorly on me if my vice president fell under criticism. And worse still, it might, might distract the attention of the populace. We can't have that, can we? And so her true colors show. Miko gave a speech about how I was some sort of mascot for American patriotism, but the truth, but the truth's a little sketchier than that. In short, she didn't want a running mate who had a chance to steal a spotlight. She needed someone no one would care about, someone so painfully average that no one would waste a newspaper column reporting about them. That someone, of course, turned out to be me. How could I refuse the offer? I got to be the freaking vice president of the USA. Still, knowing I got elected just because I'm utterly unremarkable is a bit rough on my pride. Anyway, weren't you meant to be in a meeting right now? Something about your special friend in China? Please don't call her that, even as a joke. Anyway, I'm here because I want to ask you a favor. Oh, you found something that even I can help out with? Nothing major, I just wanted somebody to check on Futo for me. Futo? You mean the Secretary of Defense, right? You know how she is. With all these international tensions, I worry that she will be a little... Aggressive. That's a light word to use. Probably that politic, polit, politic correctness kicking in. All right then. So I have to make sure that she hasn't started any wars in the last half hour. If you could, thanks. It should keep the secretary from complaining too. So in the end, both of us could get something from it. Understood. Thank you. Thanks again for the backup. No need to thank me. Simply doing my job. Miko struts out of the corridor, oozing confidence with every step as a smile is plastered onto her face. For all her political wrangling, she really does have the country's best interests in mind. All things considered, I'd work for her I'd work for her over anyone else in a heartbeat. Her taste is subordinates, though. Alright, Futo. Let's see what country you've managed to rile up this week. Let's save, just to be safe. Oh, whoops. Futo's pretty much taking on residence in the White House war room. It says Q. Okay, wait. Wait a minute. Huh, no, it does not work here. Wait, there's two of them. It's Q and load. Oh, I get... What the fuck? Whatever. Oh, quick save and quick load. It's not the... Not the button itself. Let's say... Just to be safe, you know? Okay, return. Okay, so let's do this. Technically, she should have her own office at the Pentagon. But we decided it was dangerous to keep her more than an arm's length away. Futo, you there? I let myself in without bothering to knock. When I step aside, I see Futo sitting at one end of the table playing with a globe. 
Hmm, who shall we invade next? Bolivia? Peru? Perhaps Zimbabwe? She's prodding her fingers right into various countries, giggling to herself in a slightly offsetting fashion. She looks like a child playing make-believe, which makes her actual level of clout even more disturbing. This is Futo Monobe. She's Miko's most trusted subordinate, and they've worked together for several centuries now. No, I didn't get that wrong. Centuries. Holy shit, it just got super loud. Let's like boost this down a bit. There you go. Remember when I said there were rumors Miko was a saint? Well, there was more to that than you'd think. This will sound ridiculous, but Miko and Futo are actually hermits from the Far East. I was wondering where they were going to bring that up if they were planning onto us. You see, it looks like they are. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> uh, naturally, this isn't public information. The only reason I know is that I'm the vice president. Oh, okay, so only he knows. Okay, fair enough. That would have been interesting to know how the public reacted to, you know, knowing that Miko and Futo are, you know, very, very old men, like centuries. That would have been nice to see. But oh well, that's fine. Back in her day, Miko had plans to rule Japan, but she decided that America was a far more powerful asset. And naturally, she put her pyromaniac, pyromaniac companion in charge of our national defenses. Great move, boss. Put the globe away, Futo. Ah, Sir Froslo, forgive my distraction. I was busy planning our latest campaign for, um, the expansion of democracy. I... That sounds pretty dope, but at the same time, maybe want to chill a bit, Futo. Chill the fuck a bit, man. Let's not blow up Peru, Bolivia, and Zimbabwe anytime soon, you know? I don't exactly want to start a war with any other countries. Even though America's not even my country to begin with. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's it. This isn't the age of imperialism. We can't just conquer any country we feel like. And why not? It, would, it should send an excellent message to our enemies in China. Mean, I mean, imagine the headlines. Biyaku and Hijri dismayed by American military's might. Hangs herself in shame. You know, something like that. I groaned beneath my breath. Looks like Miko was right to check up on her after all. What is your history with this Biyaku woman anyway? Is she another hermit like you two? That's way too, I'm gonna try to see if we get the middle ground. Right now, I'm at four for my audio settings right now. Like, I'm using the volume mixer. Holy shit, man. If we went to 25, that's way too loud. I guess three is the magic balance, and this was already at 25, so you know. Fuck. To be fair, I think my preference, let me check my preference. Yeah, I do have them at max, so whatever. Let's just get back, that explains it. I suppose that will be layman's term, yes. I hear she sold her soul to a demon to obtain immortality. The crown prince, I mean Lady Miko, has had been her rival for an age now. When she found out we had taken America, she she claimed China to oppose us. I hear it was quite a hostile takeover. Ah, oh, what I would have given to watch the fires burn. Yeah, because you love burning shit, don't you, Futo? Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. The boss told me to make sure you didn't do anything rash with relations as they are. That means no provocation, no live fire drills, and especially no nuclear testing. But that, that isn't fair! Why do we have all these world-ending doomsday devices if we never get to use them? That's an order, Futo. Your master's still commander-in-chief, remember? Hmm. Fine, I'll take my brilliant strategies for another day. Please let that day be a few centuries from now, when it's someone else's problem. Still, I have to give her credit for her enthusiasm, at least. She's loyal to Miko above all else, but her way of showing it is... Uh, interesting. I might have to check up on her more often. World War III might be bad for publicity after all. Right, that's the message sent, so I'll head back to my office. Off of, off to lounge off about all day while Lady Miko try, tires? She pays me to be boring, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Very well. I wish you good day, sir. You too. I leave the door open behind me just a fraction after I leave so I can listen in when she, th she thinks I'm gone. Within seconds, I hear the familiar swishing sound of the globe. <laughs> I hear Portugal goes nice at this time of year. Okay, meant to know, definitely do not leave Futo by herself. Not just for her sake, but the world as a whole. Yeah.